And tonight, shocking footage coming out of Los Angeles overnight, where comedian Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage during a performance at the Hollywood Bowl. Now, video shows a man rushing onto the stage, tackling Chappelle before being surrounded by security and being detained. Now, the 23-year-old assailant was reportedly carrying a replica gun with a knife blade inside it, and he has now been charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Now, Chappelle is okay. He even joked about the attack right after it happened. A spokesperson for Chappelle tells Fox News that he is fully cooperating with police as they investigate what they call an unfortunate and unsettling incident. But footage from outside uh, the incident shows the attacker being carried away on a stretcher with a pretty serious looking arm injury. Now, Chris Rock, he, you know, of course, the slap heard around the world. He was also in attendance last night, apparently joked about the incident, asking, was that Will Smith? All right, here with Reaction, the host of Piers Morgan Uncensored, which, by the way, airs uh, new episodes four times a week when you go to foxnation.com. All right, across the pond, we'd love to see our friend Piers. Look, when I watch the slap watched around the world, seen around the world uh, with Will Smith, a part of me was like, okay, uh, if you're that sensitive, why don't you talk it out? It was an overreaction. Now we see this attack against Chappelle. Uh, I happen to think Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Larry the Cable Guy, every irreverent uh, comedian, I love those guys. Why are people mm -hmm. reacting this way to jokes? Well, I think, uh, Sean, it's a natural extension of what you see all day long on Twitter and other social media platforms, where you have this cancel culture mob running around who think that only their view about issues is acceptable. And anyone that differs from that view has to be shamed, abused, punished, cancelled. And now we're seeing this manifesting itself in physical violence. And it's, it's a very sinister development, this. If comedians can't tell irreverent jokes on stage without a fear of being smashed in the face or worse. This guy had a weapon that could have killed uh, Dave Chappelle. Then where, where does that take us? Where does it take freedom of speech, freedom of expression? Where does it take comedy? Uh, so I think it's all very unsettling and a direct consequence of what we saw at the Oscars, where I was a bit like you. I was kind of, in a way, it was like a scene out of a barroom brawl between one guy dissing <laughs> another guy's wife and it ends right. up with a slap. Uh, but now I kind of think, you know, actually it's set a very bad precedent and the precedent is now being replicated. And I think if I was a comedian right now, like Chappelle, like these guys with a big following in front of big audiences, You've got to be walking on stage now, particularly if Chris Rock's anywhere near you, and worrying about where the next punch is coming from. You know, you talked about cancel culture. So I've been doing radio 35 years. I've been on Fox, as you know, 26 and a half years. In all my time on the air, I have never called for any person to be fired, any show to be canceled, any show to be boycotted. Um, one thing people seem to forget is audiences, they have a choice. They, they don't have to listen to a radio mm -hmm. show. They don't have to watch a TV show. They don't have to go to a comedy show here. What part of freedom in all of this are people missing? Because when I go to, a, a, if I'm going to watch a comedian, I want no holds barred. Say anything you want, yeah. and if you don't, if you're going to be so easily offended, stay home. I'm not offended. Chappelle is funny. He's irreverent. He's politically incorrect. Mm -hmm. I think he's one of the best comedians out there, along with Chris Rock. Oh, and also, yeah, and also I think what is also unsettling is that he's come under a lot of fire, uh, Dave Chappelle, for some Netflix specials where he addresses this whole issue of transgenderism in America, and he raises some really interesting points about it, about the you know, inequality, for example, in sport and so on, that's, that's uh, arising out of these issues. These should be debated in a free democratic society like the United States. And you should better have a vigorous debate about it and argue and reach points of consensus. But that's not allowed. So Dave Chappelle made some jokes about the transgender community. I didn't think they were transphobic. I think he was just having fun, as he does, as he does with everybody. But in return for that, he got death threats. He had uh, threats against his family. He had to up his security. And now we see him being attacked on stage. And, you know, it comes back to what I've said about this new cancel culture, is that, in a way, it's a form of the very fascism that the so-called liberals who, who profess to, to be woke... It's, it's the very form of fascism they, they say they hate most in life. So 
They're going around trying to dictate what we can find acceptable, what is funny, what we're supposed to be allowed to watch on television or movies, you know, what statues we can reveal, what historical figures we can respect and so on. And if you don't toe the line, now they're going to use violence to make you do it. That is yeah. fascism. And it shouldn't be happening in, in modern-day America or Britain or anywhere else. This is so-called democracy. I'm proud of the fact, I can tell you, in all the years I've been in media, not once have I ever been in the White House Correspondents' Dinner. My record stands. I didn't show up this year. Apparently, it turned out to be a super spreader event anyway, so I'm glad I didn't go. Um, yeah. But I've never been there once. So I've never in my entire life thought that Trevor Noah was funny. Now, I watched the show. It seemed like every other comedian, late-night comedian, it's just too liberal. It's all, always one-sided. But I noticed, I watched some clips after. He went after Fox News, CNN, fake news CNN, fake, CNN Plus. He went after Republicans. He went after Democrats. He went after Trump. He went after Biden. He went after everybody. And I said, wow, for the first time, he's funny. Um, why do these, why I are agree, these late-night... Yeah, go ahead. Why are these late night comedians well, taking on a political Tre agenda? Sorry. Go ahead. Why the well, I think I, I think the point about him, like, Trevor Noah, I thought he made a very good point. Actually, I share your concerns about him over the years, but actually, I thought he did a very good job that night because he made this point that when you see what's happening in Ukraine, when you see what happens in Russia, in China, in North Korea, in totalitarian regimes, when you see all this going on, it's really about cancelling people's right to free speech and expression. And when he turned to Joe Biden and said, no, I'm allowed to insult the president of the United States, sitting a few feet away from him, that was a powerful moment where I think everyone in America and around the world should look at that moment and reflect then on what happened with Dave Chappelle. How can it be that Trevor Noah is allowed to do what he did at the White House Correspondents' Dinner? And that is free yeah. speech at its best. And how, at the same time, are you seeing people attacking comedians for making jokes because they don't think they're entitled right. to make that joke without getting violence against them? That's, me, the, that's what's happening more and it's more scary. Now in this scary. Somebody's going to get hurt. Uh, uh, and it, I, well, some, someone, some, this guy could have killed him. And then yeah. what, what, Dave Chappelle, if he'd been shot dead or stabbed to death by this guy, he could have been either. We didn't know it what could have been really bad until after the event. Right, right he could I have been go dead. Back and if to... he was dead, imagine that moment where a comedian yeah. is killed for comedy. That would have been a terrible moment. We need more of the moments like Trevor Noah mocking the president sitting a few feet away from him, and we need a lot less tolerance of what went on with Dave Chappelle. One thing I want... Uh, we only have about a minute left. We, we spoke last time when you had walked off Good Morning Britain, the number one morning show. Now it's in the tank without you, which you sh that should make you really proud. Um, but we <laughs> talked about... Meghan Markle and Ofcom, and most Americans don't know what Ofcom mm -hmm. is, but I think they're going to know pretty soon. You've heard about this, this Department of Homeland Security proposal of a ministry mm -hmm. of truth or uh, against disinformation. Uh, we're going to have the government decide that. How bad did it get in Britain? Because it might be a preview of coming attractions here. Well, I just think it's, it's, to me, the principle of having a government-appointed body to regulate free speech is just wrong. Uh, and I think... It, it, I've never believed in it here. I don't know why we accept it here, frankly, but we, we do. Uh, but in America, in particular, with the First Amendment, you going to tell me, really, the Department of Homeland Security is going to dictate free speech to the American people? And, by the way, representing a Democrat government right now with a Democrat president, where, in the last few years alone, I've watched as they <coughs> peddled, you know, the Russia collusion nonsense, uh, I've watched the Hunter Biden laptop scandal being suppressed, and so on... Is that, is that their idea of free speech? Because if the people who did that are now going to dictate to the American people what free speech is, that's a really concerning moment. And it shouldn't be happening. The American people should be free to express themselves in any way they see fit. And if the government really is serious about disinformation, well, look in your own backyard and stop peddling your own disinformation. And that yeah. applies in America, it applies here in Britain. You know, my message to Ofcom, regulate the government on some of the yeah. stuff they come out with. All right, Pierce, love having you. Thank you, sir. Great to talk to you. All the best. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.